بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنرلمن سعید حسین حیدر از بیک وتھ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ ڈفرنٹ کیس اسٹڈیز اینڈ ایکسرسائزز اینڈ سینگ ہاؤ ڈفرنٹ فیکٹرز ٹین ٹو بیکم دا ویری ایسنس آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ہاؤ ایتھیکل ڈسیزن میکنگ اینڈ چیلنجز آف لائف کین اف پراپرلی ڈائریکٹڈ کین ایکچولی سپورٹ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ آلسو اینیبل اس ٹو لیو مور کنڈیوسو اینڈ مور ہیلدی لائف so uh, another case study uh, and it has a very amazing topic is are humans machines now uh, where does this question come in because most of the time nowadays uh, the corporate sector is looking at optimization of resource optimization of profits uh, optimal utilization of resources uh, multiplying profits now why does that happen and when we are going in this particular direction are we looking at human beings as machines as a machine which can work non stop uh, without rest uh, without a break so all of these things become a very important part and this case study is going to exemplify this particular notion that are humans machines now when we look at this we are going to be looking at a very interesting organization which is being called abc inc over here Muzaffar Shahid is its managing director and he basically is looking at very colorful graphical display which reflects the company performance for the past six months. Now the company was founded by his father Shahid Ali, an electrical engineer and his humble beginnings were from the garage of their home in which Shahid Ali would spend sleepless nights working on different products. So uh, it's a very uh, Microsoft, very Apple Inc type of story. and we see that this organization had very humble uh, origins now as we move forward the family had to go through different tough years and experienced shortages of basic needs shahid ali kept on experimenting and then one day he received an invitation to go to germany and upon arrival uh, back from germany shahid ali broke the news of having a first order from a reputed german company so that was the first major breakthrough for this abc in company now the years that followed were a roller coaster ride good days and bad days emerging into great years of profit success and accolades shahid ali was uncompromising on the corporate values of empathy commitment quality integrity and innovation and again when we talk about empathy then there is sympathy also uh, there is apathy and there is antipathy but cutting it very short it's very important to be empathetic and to be genuinely sympathetic and we should do away with apathy which is indifference and antipathy is something abhorrent because it is uh, about enjoying the suffering of someone else which we did look at in our uh, previous case study and uh, we were talking about the zimbardo experiment the stanford the the stanford prison experiment and that is where we see that there was this element of antipathy and also apathy which is indifference so uh these these different psychological contexts and theories and frameworks uh, and models one way or the other uh, are uh, very uh, visible to uh, to observers uh, and uh, are lessons for us uh, to do and not to do and how we can create a good corporation uh, that is extremely important now uh, when we are looking at all of this that we see that uh, spectra abc inc expanded to 21 countries and the next generation was of really took over uh, when they were planning to set up a car plant in the city of multan now muzaffar was basically going through uh, the details of the profits and how the profits were increasing uh, on a, a quarterly basis and uh, there was uh, also uh, an element that in the past half yearly performance he certainly sees that there is more product rejection and there is a fall of profit despite an increase in product orders so this was something very uh, uh, very confusing for him and therefore he planned to visit one of his plants uh, in uh, kasur and he met with all of the employees he talked with them he had lunch with them and then after a long day of continuous discussions he asked a simple question are humans machines so that is something that we're going to look up next slide now 
ایوری ون واز بی بلڈ دیٹ وائی ہیز ہی آسکنگ سچ اے کوشچن سو دین ہی گیو انادر ریٹوریکل انکوائری ان دیٹ از دین وائی آر یو ٹریٹنگ دی امپلائیز آف اسپیکٹرا ایز مشینس سو اف دے آرن مشینس دین وائی بی دے بینگ ٹریٹیڈ لائک دیٹ اینڈ دیٹ ہیڈ اٹس اون نیگیٹو کانسیکوینسز سو دی آبزرویشن شیئر بائی شاہ دری ور دیٹ دی لاجک آف انسٹالنگ سرویلنس کیمراز وائی The cameras created an environment of distrust. He noted that employees were suffocated by continuous monitoring. There was a disconnect between the shop floor employees and the management, more so between the newly hired assistant managers and the lower formations. What were the reasons for the decline of profits in Spectra ABC? Had any of the management looked at it intently? Why was the current management oblivious to the real problems cooking in Spectra ABC and identifying the real problems and issues in Spectra? Elaborating on the role of Shailadari in identifying the issues in Spectra ABC, what did he do differently? So again, uh, these are questions for you that uh, based upon this case study and uh, you will be provided notes of these case study in more detail, you will be asking these questions on the case study and trying to find out the right answers. And I would actually suggest to you that if two or three of you could get together and you could have a very interesting discussion on all of this. a uh, very important question is can you share a similar example that you are aware of in the corporate or social sector where apathy led to organizational deterioration or you could read a very interesting case study which is turnover issues in mcdonald's corporation and identify similar points of reference in spectra abc and what type of leadership do you think is being exhibited by muzaffar shahid and another question is that uh, is the leadership style of shahid ali different how should spectra abc resolve its different issues uh, what are the changes required in the short term one year in the mid term three years and in the long term five years and then what type of ethical problems and challenges do you face as youth leaders so you could separately uh, enumerate on all of those and try to comprehend the answers based upon your own experiences based upon your own observation and also try to see Uh, that what are the real issues what we call the iceberg effect that whatever is visible are just the tip of the iceberg and actually the real problems or the real issues are actually below the water and one of them is behavior so again what we see is that some of the best companies sometimes go into a loss and if we try to try to bring around the whole picture then some of the worst companies can become some of the best companies of the world so it's just a matter of how we observe how we perceive how we assimilate how we analyze and based upon all of that then how do we apply our mind to create the right solutions and then implement thank you so much very kind of talking